Today is the one year anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's security breach, and so I thought it would only be fitting to this review. Before I continue, I would also like to note that all the footage you're looking at was recorded on a Google Stadia, um, so anything that happens is not because of the game, it's because of the Stadia. When Security Breach first released, it was seen as kind of a flop. They hadn't yet perfected absolutely anything, and when I played it, I didn't find that many issues, but there were definitely a few bugs that made the game a little bit more difficult. It wasn't like anything noteworthy really, but just a little annoyances. The FNAF community seemed to think it was outrageous they could release such a game, and some even called it like a, a buggy mess and worst release of the it, it was bad. Um, I was gonna do a review on the game then, but I didn't think it was fair to review a game that had just been released and had no time for community feedback, so I kinda tabled it until now. I think this game perfectly adds onto the FNAF franchise and the odd lore behind it. It's a really fun game and it's easy to the point where I can succeed at it for the most part and has just the right balance of being tedious and difficult while still being fun. The animations are very smooth, the game looks fantastic, and the storyline is pretty complex. I don't really like what people have gotten out of the games lore wise as I sort of saw Ultimate Custom Night as the end of the chapter, but honestly it's kind of hard to tell who's right and wrong and uh, that's for another video. The moving in this game is some of the smoothest I've ever seen. The turning feels amazing, the controls work perfectly on pretty much any controller or keyboard and surprisingly even using the Google Stadia. Also exclusively because I know people are gonna ask about it. I use the Stadia because I legitimately like the controller and I think the idea itself is massively underrated. I'm, I'm gonna um, just throw that one under it out there and hopefully get back to it eventually. Um, <laughs> this game is kind of one of its own because while there have been other survival horror games with stories and missions, I've never played one that's been executed quite as well. The fact that this all originated from a 2D game by a guy literally no one knew about is also kind of crazy. And now we're coming back to where we began. Um, I can't ever talk about this game without mentioning bugs or any game. For that matter, this is definitely not an exception though. At launch, it had a few, just to mention some. Uh, the game flat out breaking, falling through doors, falling through walls, items disappearing, getting stuck, animatronics just being invisible, and sometimes just not where they're supposed to be, or being able to jump on things you're not supposed to jump onto. It's hard to cover them all, so I would highly suggest you go and watch Astral Spiff's video on it. Uh, he explains and shows them a lot better than I ever could. Well, a lot of these have been fixed, and some are definitely still present. Is this a reason not to buy it? Of course not. If anything, it actually makes the game significantly more fun. Overall, I'm just gonna give this game a 9 out of 10. And it's an amazing concept, pretty well executed, whole lot of bugs. I can't defend it there. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and want more content like this, please cr crash into the subscribe button and d d drive your automobile into the like button if you didn't like it. Um, yeah, there's a dislike one right next to the like one. D it's fully open, your choice. Um, if you want me to review any other games, just drop them down in the comments and I'll probably get around to them eventually. Have a great rest of your nights. Goodbye.